Pat was revered for her pseudonymous novel, Carol. It stood on every lesbian bookshelf and was for many years the only lesbian novel with a happy ending. Do you think it was important for Pat to write a gay book? Sure. Sure. I mean, she was gay, and, uh, and if she was a writer, that's what she wanted to, to do, write about that life. People were saying, write the same thing as strangers. Write it again. Write something like that. And then I wasn't, at that moment, inspired. I had a job in a very busy department store in New York. I was selling dolls. It was a Christmas rush hour. And a woman came in in a fur coat who was rather striking. The woman seemed to give off light. I felt odd and swimming in the head, near to fainting. Their eyes met at the same instant. When she stood up, the woman was looking at her with the calm gray eyes that Therese could neither quite face nor look away from. Where'd you learn so much about train sets? Therese noticed the woman's perfume for the first time and wished with all her power to wish anything that the woman would simply continue her last words and say, why can't we see each other again? That night, I wrote out the whole story in my notebook. Ideas come to me like birds that I see in the corner of my eye, and I may try, or may not, to get a closer fix on those birds. Strangers on a Train, Miss Highsmith. It was bought by a celebrated film director. Yes, the Hitchcock uh, took an interest in it. Toutes les filles étaient complètement fascinées parce que c'était Patricia et Smith. Pat en a bien profité, hein? <laughs> Ça, c'est sûr. I may not be capable of love. I want something romantic, perhaps not definite. Pat was revered for her pseudonymous novel, Carol. She was gay, and anybody didn't use their own name on a gay book because of family, because of her mother. Her mother was a, a bitch. A woman was supposed to act like a boy. You didn't veer off of that. Writing, of course, is a substitute for the life I cannot live, am unable to live. 